All right, guys, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make our meat sauce, all right? I have uh, ground beef, I have uh, Italian chicken sausage here, and I have a red onion, garlic, some of this low carb uh, tomato sauce here, grape tomatoes, some olives, and some mushroom, portobello mushrooms. And this is how we're gonna make our meat sauce, all right? So first what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut up our red onion, get out our trusty knife here, you guys know that I love to use red onion because I think red onion is more flavorful and it's lower in carbohydrates compared to other onions. But it's not as sweet, which I'm okay with it not being sweet. So we're gonna mince it like this. Put it on this plate right here to the side. We're gonna use the whole onion. Put it on the plate, put it to the side. It's a lot of onions, I know. Now let's cut our mushrooms. We're gonna just slice it up. Break it up into pieces. Slice it up like that. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller pieces. You know, the more mushrooms the better. But this is all the mushroom I have in my refrigerator, so I'll just use this, this amount. All right, we put it on the plate right here. I also have these uh, grape tomatoes here. So we're gonna cut up. You don't wanna cook it, not cut, cause it could explode. So we'll just cut it in half. This is gonna be so good in our sauce. With some fresh tomatoes. This is about a, a pound and a half of uh, grape tomatoes. Slice it in half like that. Nothing special, nothing fancy. There you have it. All right, so I have me here, but one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven cloves of garlic. Then we're gonna smash, smash and chop, mince up. Get the Allison going in there. We got the outer layer. Now we're gonna mince it up. You might think this is a lot of garlic, but we love garlic. There we go. Garlic galore. We're gonna take our chicken sausages here. Probably gonna use all of it. This is about 14 ounces, almost a pound. It's Italian style chicken sausage, so it has Italian flavorings inside. So we're gonna take it all out. We're going to take it out of the casings. There we go. Let's open this up too. We'll use a knife to cut this like that. Now if you guys would come over to the stove with me so we could cook all this up. So we'll turn on the stove like so. Let that warm up, heat up. What we want to do is uh, throw a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit. So first, saute the onions. We're throwing our mushrooms now. And our garlic. Get the aromas going. We can now throw in our beef. Let's throw in the Italian chicken sausage as well. The chicken Italian sausage is gonna give us an Italian flavor. We can throw in our grapevine tomatoes. Let's sprinkle some sea salt on here. I think we could put our sauce in now. So let's pour this straight into there, here. This tomato sauce already has spices, but uh, let's add some more anyways. Let's put some paprika in it. Just a dash. 
a little bit of cayenne. Um, I don't think cayenne is that spicy, but if you think it's spicy, you don't have to put it in. Some oregano. Just up the Italian seasoning a little bit, because this is a big dish. Some basil. Let's go with some parsley as well, parsley flakes. Ooh, just a little bit. White pepper powder. Also my go-to garlic powder. Tad bit more salt. And some black pepper, y'all. We're gonna bring the fire down and simmer this. Bring down the low. Medium, medium, low. Everything is cooked and now we just gotta cook off the, the excess water. And, yeah, so bring down the water a bit. There we go. Look at that, how does that look? That looks delicious, doesn't it? You could use this sauce for spaghetti, pasta, linguine, linguine pasta, whatever. It's gonna be really good. So we'll just leave this here now, like that for now. And we'll bring you over to the table and we're gonna assemble our lasagna. So we're gonna use these three. Hopefully they'll all fit in these three. I think they would. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, so let's, let's, let's get started. So this dish is gonna have, it's gonna have beef, it's gonna have chicken, it's gonna have pork, and it's gonna have turkey. Pour a spoonful each of uh, this tomato sauce at the bottom here. This is gonna coat, we're gonna coat the bottom of this so if anything, our meat and stuff doesn't stick to the bottom. So we're layering our turkey breast, like so. Very simple. Okay, and then we're gonna put on our sauce. Uh, see, it's two scoops each. Now let's do our prosciutto. So we take our prosciutto and just sprinkle it on like this. Two prosciutto. Break it up. Sprinkle it all around. And I have this um, Varzi. Uh, this is also no nitrates, no uh, added preservatives. So let's do a layer of this. Pop this on. And I got I also got this Calabresi. With also doesn't have uh, any nitrates or added preservative. Uncured Italian salami. This is a very hearty fatty meal. Here I have some uh, olives, some black olives we're gonna sprinkle on in the middle. I got some ricotta cheese here we're gonna put in. Give us that uh, creamy, cheesy flavor that we all love and enjoy. So we're just gonna take our ricotta, sprinkle it like this, take a little spoonful, about a tablespoon, put it everywhere. One, two, four, five, six. Six tablespoons, like so. Get that ricotta, creamy goodness in there. And I have cream cheese here. There's that eight ounces of cream cheese. Uh, we're gonna split this into threes. So we're gonna cut this in half, lengthwise. We're gonna cut this in thirds. There. It's about a tablespoon each. Something around there. Now let's put another layer of meat sauce and then we're gonna top it off with our pepper jack cheese, a double line of cheese, and our provolone cheese.
We can put a little bit more prosciutto. And prosciutto is delicious. Every bite should have prosciutto. Now let's put on our provolone. Four pieces of provolone cheese. Okay, one of you guys is gonna have to go on threes. Two of you guys are gonna be threes. Or maybe... There. There we go. And this is a Dubliner Kerrygold grass-fed cheese. The best cheese there is. Uh, well, I like the cheddar version better, but we, we'll sprinkle this on. Like that. And this is pepper jack cheese. We just sprinkle however much we can on. This is about 14 ounces of cheese. So I took uh, probably three fourths of it. And this is the rest of the olives that we have in the can. Uh, it's like 28 ounces of olives. Spread it out evenly. There you guys have it. Keto lasagna. So what you wanna do is preheat the oven to 400 degrees and put this bad, in, bad boy in for about 20 minutes, 20 minutes to 30 minutes and you're all set. All right guys? Let's cut ourselves a piece to eat. Uh, you can let it cool if you want, but you know what? I'm just gonna go right into it. Cause I'm very hungry. Ooh, look at that. Oh yeah. That's fire. All right guys, make this for yourself. Let me know how it tastes down in the comment section. Okay guys, thank you for watching. That's my take on a keto, low carb lasagna guys. Have a good one.